to the me time tag. Um, I've been meaning to do this tag for the longest time, and I've been meaning to record for days on end and not been doing it because I've been sick. You can still kind of hear it in my voice, so I'm still not 100% better. But today was the first day in like a week that I woke up feeling like something resembling a human again, so we're getting there. I might be able to start getting things back on track today, hopefully, with any luck. <laughs> so anyway, uh, just pardon me if I have a nasty chest cough somewhere in the middle of it, because I have a feeling that will be a thing somewhere. My apologies in advance. Uh, so just trying to, like, honestly, I felt kind of better yesterday too, but my nose was still crusty. So <sighs> it's like, dude, my nose hasn't even been running for days. Why has nobody given the skin around my nose the memo that it doesn't need to be dried out? Okay. Anyway, so <clears throat> there's that. But yeah, so I put on a little bit of mascara in my kitty ears for some cat power. Um, <coughs> <coughs> see? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But the kitty ears always make me feel better, so I'm wearing them. If you don't like them, bite me. Anyway, <laughs> so the me time tag. <sighs> my youngest sister was like, Jennifer, you work from home. Isn't all your time me time? <laughs> But yeah, so there are 10 questions in this. I really did not mentally plan out my answers ahead of time, which is probably bad, but I'm gonna try and do it anyway. So, getting right into it. First question is, what do you watch or read during me time? Well, again, uh, according to my sister, all my time is me time because I work from home, but um, depends. If it's while I'm actively working on something, generally I'll either watch YouTube or listen to YouTube in the background, depending what I'm doing. Because I run an Etsy shop, so if I'm working on something with my hands, I can actually watch something at the same time. If I'm doing data entry, I can only listen to something in the background, so that kind of determines what kind of content I have on something that... Is it a narrative where I can just listen to it, or is it something where I need to see it and like occasionally click over? So, you know, there's that. Um, but also Netflix, obviously, or anything from my vast collection of DVDs, which is fairly impressive, apparently. Um, I didn't realize it was until lately when I've been finding out more and more people, like, don't even buy DVDs anymore. And if they do, they have, like, a small handful of them. I'm like, I, I have a whole closet of my DVDs. So, um, you know, there's that, and not even all of them fit in there at this point. So, you know, there's that. Um, and that's not even starting on my VHS collection, because I am the old person who still has a VCR that still works, and a TV that will still let it hook up. So, there's that. Um, I mean, it's mostly for things that never got a DVD release, so. Otherwise, I, like, got rid of a lot of my older... VHS tapes, but some of them I held on to because certain things never got that release. So, <clears throat> anyway, number two, what do you wear during me time? That really depends. Again, um, depends on your definition of it. If I'm just like bumming around at home, uh, I might get dressed to make myself feel better since usually I record every day, so I want to be at least semi presentable, but. If literally nobody is going to be seeing me, it is not uncommon that I will just bum around in pajamas all goddamn day. Just saying. Um, a few months back, I actually had an embarrassing situation where my boyfriend unexpectedly showed up. Wow, at least I had like a normal person top on, but I had furry pajama bottoms on. It was like... Oh god, <laughs> you were not supposed to see those, but oh well. But yeah, that is not an uncommon thing. Um, I could say that I am literally sitting like that right now, but no, that would be a lie. I have jeans on. Like, no, really. I, I'm like a person today. So, in case you're like, dude, you're probably bumming right now. I was like, no, no, I'm dressed. It's six in the morning for some ungodly reason. <sighs> so there's that. Or if it's like... Just bumming around, like, nighttime or super, super early morning where my door is shut and there is no one in here. Um, I might just be, well, not this part of the year, but, like, during the summer I might lounge around in my friggin' underwear if I want to. And there is nothing wrong with that. Um, anyway. Number three. 
What are your me time beauty products? Uh, define what you would include with that. I would say probably, well, one of my me time things is I like to do my nails during me time where I don't have to work on anything since I literally can't if I'm waiting on my nails to dry. I just did them yesterday and they're so pretty. Um, anyway, um, so I would include nail polish with that. But, moreover, I would include things with nice scents for, like, aromatherapy purposes. So things like scented lotions, um, body sprays, things like that. I would include those primarily more than anything. I know some people are like, well, for me time I do face masks. And I'm like, I haven't done a face mask since I was 14. Although there, there are two that I recently got an Ipsy that I need to do, so... That may be changing shortly. So, I don't know. But mostly those are my go-tos for that. Um, oh, number four. Our current favorite nail polish. Hmm. What would my favorite current nail polish be? Do we remember what the hell glittery one I had on about a month ago was that I kept distracting myself with that looked like Marty McFly's hat in the second movie? That. Wh whichever one that was. Um, it was from OPI, I know that. But, um... Oh crap, what was it called? Um, I don't have a clue. Like I said, I didn't plan this out better, and I'm kind of regretting my life choices right now. But that one, um, that silver one I was wearing at like the end of December and like into January, um, I, I still adore that one. That's probably like my favorite favorite, honestly. Um, noticing a theme, silver and sparkly. Um, Although that blue one I wore last summer was really good, and that metallic red one is a favorite. I have a lot of favorites. I just always change it up because I want to try new ones and see if there are more new favorites. And this, I'm actually surprised that I like as much as I do, because looking at it in the bottle, I was unsure about it. It's kind of like a rosy taupe, which I thought is kind of neutral. I'm usually not about the neutrals, but in this instance, I think it's nice. So, at least for right now, maybe because it's like beginning of springtime, and I'm kind of like veering towards light colors just to be somewhat thematically appropriate since we all know that I don't dress by the season. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of nice and it kind of matches this shirt a little bit. Uh, but anyways, yeah. What do you eat or drink during me time? Anything I damn well please. Um, <laughs> Well, again, it depends. What part of the day are we talking? Um, like right now, I've got my cup of coffee. But if it were later on in the day, it'd either be a soda or tea, which between those three is like 99% of what I drink, which is probably really bad, but I'm honest. Um, as for what I eat, again, depends on what part of the day it is. But um, if it's in the morning, probably yogurt. And that's probably about it. I usually skip lunchtime entirely because I'm unhealthy like that. Um, there may or may not be a snack in there somewhere, which is probably what you guys are actually angling for in this answer. But it really just depends what we've got on hand. It's never the same, so I can't really concretely answer that. Um, me time generally isn't dinner time, so I'm not going to include that, but... Um, I really don't have a concrete answer for that one. Okay, so current favorite candle. Oh, 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 I'm prepared for this one. I got four different ones for you guys for this one. So like, favorite of all time. This one is brand new and unburned because I just freaking got it off of eBay because my other ones were the smaller ones and I managed to burn them mostly all the way down. But the Bath and Body, actually all four of these are Bath and Body Works, so just throw that out of the way. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is one of those you love it or you hate it scents, but oh my god, it's like my favorite of all time Bath & Body Works scent. And I just don't understand the people who are like, no, it's nasty. I'm like, fuck you. No, it's my favorite. I will fight you on this. It is my baby. Oh my god, like, if it were more, like, socially acceptable, I would probably just use this scent year round and sometimes I do but um I don't want a repeat of Caribbean Escape where I did that year round and burnt myself out on it it would just
hurt my soul if I ever burnt out on sweet cinnamon pumpkin. So I do try to at least moderate it during the parts of the year that aren't fall. But, um, but during fall, it's like all I freaking burn. Um, I've also got, for the aesthetic more than the scent, this just came out. It's eucalyptus mint, which isn't a new scent, but look at the design. This looks like I designed it. So more than anything, I just wanted this to display because aesthetically this is me right here. But the scent is really nice too. It's a little bit soapy. I could see this being like a shower product or a soap or something. But um, there is one of their aromatherapy scents that is spearmint in eucalyptus. This is a just regular mint with eucalyptus, I think, but it's really similar to that, and that is one of my absolute faves from the aromatherapy line, so I don't dislike it. I just haven't burnt it yet because I just got it like a week and a half ago. Same with this guy. This one's a newbie for me, but I adore it. This is lavender marshmallow. And you know me, I adore anything lavender, but then you throw marshmallow on top of it, I'm like, my brain's going, it should be sickeningly sweet, but it's not. It's just beautiful. And I love it. The Raspberry Peach Macaron was a little bit of a disappointment, because that one was disgustingly sweet. I have not been able to bring myself to burn it yet, because it's just too sweet. Whereas this one, I'm like, it's too pretty. I don't want to mar it by burning it. But these are all getting reviews soon, so they will be burned. But um, not yet. I'm just appreciating them in their beautiful, untainted state. Much like this guy here, which is not my first of this one either. This is Georgia Peach, which is another of my all-time favorite scents from them. But again, the aesthetic though. It's got my lilies on it, which those of you who know, in the ungodly event that I ever had a kid and it were a girl, Lily is my go-to name I would use. So Lily's always held a special place in my heart for that. But this particular peach scent, it's another one like Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin where people love it or they hate it. And I'm on the love side of the line, whereas other people are like, it's such a cheap, nasty peach. I'm like, I will fight you. But uh, <laughs> to me, I don't know. It's like the most juicy, mouth-watering peach scent. And almost like there's a hint of nectarine in there. Actually, let's read the scent notes on the bottom. Maybe there is nectarine in it. <clears throat> No, there's not. Juicy peaches do cover leaves and hint of vanilla. I would swear there's a little bit of citrus in there. But no, it just... I think it's an absolutely beautiful scent. And again, this is not my first of it. I have another one that's partially burned right now, but this one was cuter, so this is the one I brought to the camera. But, um... I love Georgia Peach, so again, I will fight anyone on this who thinks it's nasty. More for me, basically. If everyone else dislikes it, I get to buy them all. So, you know, there's that. It works out. Anyway, number seven. Do you ever have outdoor me time? <sighs> me? Go outside? Oh, oh, that doesn't happen. No, I'm kidding. I actually spent a while outside yesterday. Um, about taking pictures of flowers and trying to desensitize myself to bees. Not by getting stung by them. I don't want to be stung by them. I just want to be able to coexist in their presence and not have a panic attack over them. So, it was a new record for me yesterday. I lasted over half an hour, and there was bumblebees, too. And one of them bounced off of me, and I screamed. <laughs> not very me-time-like, but by the time I got to where I was fairly relaxed around them, I guess it could count as me-time, but generally, yeah, that's it's really bad to admit. I generally don't go outside much, but, um, but when I do and it's nice out, I guess it's not terrible. But if I do have me time, I, it generally means I went for a walk, which doesn't happen as often as it should. Um, I don't suntan, which I think is evident to anyone who has ever looked at my face. Um, there is reason for that. Um, I do believe I probably have that condition Michael Jackson had where... Um, it doesn't really show on me right now, because I'm very fair-complexioned, but if I get the tiniest bit of sun, I suddenly look like a Dalmatian, because it only comes in patches, and there's a bunch of white that, no matter what I do, does not tan. Happens on my face, it happens on my arms, it's really annoying, so for me it's just easier to not tan! Um, but yeah, because I don't like how it looks, because like across here, we'll get it, 
down here will not, up here will not, and like one patch on this cheek will not. And I was like, oh, cute. So a splotch from about here to here gets color, and that's not it. Cute. <laughs> My arms like there's a strip about this wide, along about right here, that will get it. The rest will not. It. I could stay out there all freaking day, and it will not. So, that's a thing. Anyways, um, but, I don't know, sometimes it's refreshing to just, like, do some gardening in the yard. Not very often, it's not really my thing, but every once in a while I get a bug up my butt and it feels nice to do it, but usually it's not my thing. Um, like I said, I don't really spend a lot of time outdoors like I should, um, so there's that. Would you ever go see a movie alone? Um, if I had a way of getting to it, I would. Um, I don't have a smartphone, so I can't call an Uber. So basically, unless somebody wants to bring me to a movie, which generally means they also want to see it, I don't go to them, so therefore I don't go alone. But just on premise, do I see anything wrong with going alone? Hell no, I would go to movies alone. I would even go see like a little kid movie alone. I don't give a shit. Um, that doesn't bother me. Uh, it's just like that whole stigma against, would you eat alone? I'm like, yes and have. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Some people are like, I'm so sad by that. I'm like, it, it's just eating. I generally don't like to eat, or I don't like to talk a whole lot while I eat anyway, so that really doesn't bother me, but I don't know. But would I see a movie alone? Yeah, I would. Just in practicality of making that happen, generally can't, because I have no way of getting to it because I don't drive, so. Favorite online shop? Oh. Oh, you're not playing fair. All of my shopping happens online just about, so... Oh boy. Well, we all know about my Bath and Body Works obsession, so that has to be mentioned. But it's not my only place that I spend oodles of money. We all know I spend tons at Amazon, and tons at Joanne, and Hershner's, and Dick Blick, which is an art supply store for those of you who are like, what the fuck is that? It's an art supply store. It's just got a weird name. Um, where else? Where else? eBay, obviously. Um, <laughs> Beetlestore.com. Sorry, I gotta be honest. I do spend a lot of money there. Um, where else? I think those are my main go-to ones. I obviously shop elsewhere occasionally, but those are like my usual ones. But um, <clears throat> let's see here. Anything to add? What else do you do during me time? Um, well, it's hard because how I make my money is how some people would classify their me time, like crafting. I happen to make money from doing it, but at the same time, it also started as a hobby, so I'm like, which side of the line does this fall on? I don't really know. Um, I Personally, I find it soothing, so I would include it, even though it is also work for me. Um, drawing, I have not yet made money at, so I guess that could qualify as me time, since it's just for me that I do it. Same with painting. Um, obviously listening to music, although I do that kind of just whenever. Um, playing music, that needs to be included in this. I mean, I learn tons of songs that you guys never see, and I feel really bad that I learned them, and I intend on filming them, and then I don't. Like, I spent six hours the other night just learning random songs, and then didn't film anything from it, which... I don't know why. Uh, I really should, because I found a new site that I didn't know about that had ukulele chords for a ton of Paul McCartney solo music that I did not know there was a site with this many of them. So, of course, I had to go and learn all the things. Literally all the things. I went down that entire list and played them all. So I'm like, well... Last year when Paul's birthday rolled around, I was panicking because I needed to learn something quickly enough. Now, apparently, I have a whole backlog of them ready to go of over a hundred. But, um, yeah, that's a thing. Playing music. Uh, lately, it's been ukulele primarily more than anything. But, I mean, I also play guitar and piano, so there's those two. I haven't really played 
much piano lately at all. Uh, so it's mostly just the stringed instruments that I've been getting a lot of. But occasionally I get a bug up and I'm like, I want to play piano. I miss playing piano. But it doesn't happen too often. Oh, what else? What else? Obviously just snuggle time with my puppy, which is whenever. Um, what else? What else? I've covered most of the things I do. I'm a very boring person, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else belongs here, but um, I'm sure you guys can think of some video games. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm like, I'm literally looking at them. They're like a foot away from me. I'm like, I'm retarded. <laughs> so there you go. That that definitely counts for a lot of it. <laughs> both on consoles, handhelds, and PC, all of the above. Although the PC ones are generally like the most me time because those generally don't get recorded for anything. So that is truly just because I enjoy playing them more than anything, but all of them count. So I think that was, yeah, that was the last question. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Probably you found it painfully awkward. I did too. It's alright. Usually I read through all the questions first and mentally prepare what my answers are so we don't sit here awkwardly, but this time I did not. So anyways, if you did by chance enjoy this, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, hit subscribe if you're not already and you'd like to be. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below, and if you choose to do this tag too, let me know in the comments and I will go check out your answers, or if you did it at some point already, Link me to it, and I will totally go watch it. Uh, anyway, make sure you follow my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So, anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.